MovieWeb.com. When I was young, I had an affair. She was a friend of yours. A kind of friend. She liked being read to. You never tell me what you've been studying. I'm studying a play. You can read it. I'd rather listen to you. Sing to me of the man, Muse, the man of twists. twists and turns, driven time and again off course. Why do you leave early? He always leaves early. The affair only lasted a summer. I can't live without you. Even the thought of it kills me. Stephen, uh, I'm so curious uh, why you wanted to, to make this film. Billy Elliot, The Hours, there's always a tremendous human drama that's involved. Was the reconciliation or the love story, what was more primal for you to make this film? Um, I had loved Mr. Bernard Schlink's book when I'd read it. Um, and it's uh, dealing with a subject which I actually know quite a lot about. I'd spent a lot of time in Germany as a child learning German. Um, and in my adult life working in Berlin. Um, and I, it's a country which, for all its complications and contradictions, I've been fascinated with, particularly this story um, about the second generation of Germans coming to terms with the terrible sins of the past and the previous generation. And um, Berlin itself as a city, I don't know, it's always, uh, to me, it's always felt a little bit like Troy in so much as a city rebuilt three times um, in the 20th century and uh, really on the fault line of that century and, and it's uh, endlessly fascinating uh, with all its uh, contradictions. Let's talk about the, the casting for a bit. Obviously Kate Winslet, Ray Fiennes, tremendous actors of their day, but uh, you, uh, David, really have a linchpin role as playing the, the young Michael. Um, what was it like directing him, particularly in those very intimate scenes with Kate? Well, um, I had spent a lot of time um, auditioning David's contemporaries who were working uh, in, <laughs> in Germany. Um, but I came across David, who has huge um, emotional depth and intelligence, um, and was very lucky to find David. Um, in fact, what we, we put the, the lovemaking scenes to the very end of the shoot, mostly so that David and Kate could have longer to get to know each other and get used to each other. Um, and in fact, it was a very short, it was actually just, of a very long shoot. I think that they took up maybe two or three days, so yeah. it wasn't a particularly long time. <laughs> um, but I think that um, they are very uh, intimate scenes, um, and we approach them through through a lot of conversation and being very specific about them. Well, I mean, as a young actor, I mean, here you have Kate Winslet. I mean, particularly in scenes that are this intimate, what was your thought process? How did you film and get through it? Uh, I was very, very, at the beginning I was, of course, I was very, very nervous and I, and I, um, yeah, it's the first time I had to do sex scenes and then with Kate Winslet and, uh, um, but, um, um, but Stephen was really great because we talked a lot about it and he was very clear about everything and uh, he knew exactly what he wanted to have and uh, Kate also was very, very great because she, she she created a very good environment and a very easygoing environment and she she's she's very funny as well and that that takes it a little bit uh, the, the the how do you say the nervous the the nerv nervosity nervosity the nerves away the nervous away. Um, I want to ask you about a particular uh, scenes in the film the the trial scene when she was being uh, tried for her role as the guard in Auschwitz. I thought those scenes were very interesting because there was so much inside for her character and for your character that could not just be blurted out and expressed, whether it's her illiteracy or the, the fact that you're seeing this woman again after the affair as a teenager. Can you talk about filming those scenes in particular and how you prepare for that? The, um, well, it's, we wanted to recreate um, a trial, which we, um, it's a fictional trial obviously in the, in the film, but it was based on a very specific trial, which is the 1963 Auschwitz trial in Frankfurt. And, it, and so we were very meticulous in our recreation of, of that um, trial. With the, most of the people in the trial are, are, are judges, German judges and all current lawyers, rather than uh, actors except for my leads. Um, and, and we did that for obviously for authentic t 
to create as much of we probably can an authentic trial circumstance. Um, and of course, for the for both for David and for Kate, it's quite a it's it's a, it's a quite a large set with a lot of people. And for both of you, uh, the camera was often very close to you, and, and it was having a very private experience. I mean, I remember those days of shooting where you're sitting in the gallery with lots of people around you, and it's actually it's just about the flick of an eye, and it's, it's something very <coughs> internal to you. So I think that both for you and for Kate, working with a lot of people around you was quite yeah. complicated. Um, I, I prepared for these scenes. Uh, I tried to understand. Uh, I tried to understand everything. What was what were the consequences for everything? For example, when she when she actually. Uh, would have written the report, what does that mean and what does it affect, how does it affect the trial and I try to understand every every line because it's, um, yeah, for me the trial is, is about uh, Michael and Hannah. <laughs>